Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Pam Davidson. Right now we're going to be making a breakfast casserole. And this is one, some people call it day before casserole because you make it the night before you're going to serve it. So I'm going to serve it in the morning so I have to make it tonight. So what we're going to do first off is you take a pound of sausage and we like the Jimmy Dean sausage and we use the spicy hot now you can use regular if you don't like the spicy but this will give your casserole a little bit of a kick all right I'm gonna cut into it right now and we're gonna put it over here on the stove to fry it you gotta fry this up first All right, I got it open here. Now we're gonna stick it in our frying pan. Right like that. And I'm gonna use this thing from Pampered Chef. It's really a hamburger chopper, but it does good on this too. Oh look, y'all can see my bottoms. I still got my, my new uh, pajama bottoms on. It's late at night and I'm being comfy. And I'm being warm. It's like 40 degrees outside. So when I come home from church today, I put these things back on. So I'm making, having some friends over. My pastor and his wife and his, his brother that's here as a missionary. He just got back from uh, South America. So I'm having them all over for breakfast in the morning. So one of the things I'm going to have is this casserole. So we're going to go ahead and fry the bacon up here. Now this good Jimmy Dean uh, sausage, it doesn't have a lot of fat. We might not even have to drain this when we get done. This nice sausage. <coughs> okay, and then what we're going to do is... Um, Mix up six eggs, two cups of milk, and a teaspoon of salt. So let me grab my mixer bowl. We're going to put six eggs in here and mix them up. And y'all know I got these good old farm eggs. I love my farm eggs. Why the, uh, while the sausage is frying, I'm going to put six eggs in here. That's four, five. This is a great thing if you got to feed several people at once. If you got company coming or Christmas breakfast, of course, that's already fast for today, but you can get your recipes together for next year. What you're going to do. All right, let's chop this hamburger. I mean, this sausage up a little bit more. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. It's just about cooked. All right, we're going to mix these eggs up here. So we got six eggs, and we're going to put in two cups of milk. I got my milk already measured out there. And we're going to put in a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to go ahead and get my teaspoon of salt here. I got my nice little uh, thing that Brooke got me. See, it says salt on it. You just put the little spoon in it and roll that around. It's got magnets on it and it clips back together. All right. That's the egg mixture mixed up. Now we're going to take some bread. And we're going to, first thing we're going to do in the bottom of our pan here is we are going to put slices of bread down. Now you can crumble this up if you didn't want to use as much bread, but I just go ahead and lay like slices right in there like this. I think it'll hold like six slices maybe. 
You can even use the heel to get a little bit smaller one there. So there you go. Six slices of bread there. Alright, I'm going to get this sausage. All right, I'm going to finish my egg mixture. I got my six eggs beat up here, my one teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to put in two cups of milk. I'm going to mix that up really good. And that is your egg mixture. Now, if you were doing this low carb, you don't have to put the bread in the bottom of this thing. You can just omit that step, and this would be a low carb dish. So right now, we got the um, your bread in there. Or you could use half of the bread. You could use three slices and just chop it up and kind of spread it out. And then what you want to do is sprinkle this sausage. Just layer. This is going to be a layer. Sprinkle that all in it. And I didn't even have to drain this because Jimmy Dean sausage doesn't have a whole lot of fat in it. All right, just spread it like this right over top of your bread. Just like this. Next, you're going to put a cup of cheese. So there's two cups in this pack, so I'm going to use half of this pack. And I'm just going to spread this cheese all around. That's probably a little bit more than half, but that's all right. Then what we're going to do is take your this mixture here, and we're just going to pour that over it. And that's our last step. And then we're just going to cover this with saran wrap and let this soak overnight in the refrigerator. And then in the morning, I'm going to bring it out and uh, bake it at 350 for about 45 minutes. And that's it. All right. Talk to y'all later.